Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we're back with some more International Challenge May. Never mind, the power just went out. The internet has disconnected. I am in the dark. Well, crud. Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we are back with some more, um... 2017 International Challenge in the month of May. So let's just pick a song. I've got it mute on the speakers, but it's recording. And so I was trying to record a few minutes ago and the power randomly went out. All right, let's see what we've got. Muck, Tapu Coco, Arcanine, Gyarados, Hermosa, Celestela. All right, so we're going to lead off with the use, the usual. Um, Drift Bloom and Tapu Lele. I think Marowak would be good here. Yeah, Marowak's good, especially for... Actually for, um... Yeah, three Pokemon, plus... It's Bone Meringue. Um... Hariyama? No... Muck... Gyarados. Gyarados? Not a... Um... Gyarados might be pretty good with the Intimidate. We'll come in, Intimidate Faramosa. And take it out with something. Bring Muck. Yeah, we'll go with Gyarados. Um, Alright, so I have to remember the time limit. Last time I was doing some of these battles, I forgot the time limit is a lot less than in the EGBL battles. You don't have as much time to contemplate what you're doing. Alright, so Drift Bloom, Tapu Lele. No reason not to go with that. Tapu Coco and Faramosa. So we're going to get the Psychic Surge up. I think we should... Alright, we'll get some special defense boost. Actually, wait a... oh yeah. We're choice scarfed. Something I keep forgetting. So I'm just Tailwinding. Go ahead, Tailwind. Um, and I'm going to switch into Marowak. Because if I don't, um, Driplim's going to take a Thunderbolt. It's sort of like the same tactic I had in the previous battle. We'll get a Tailwind up. Alright, so Pheromose is going for Poison Jab. Shouldn't do too much. Nope. Alright. Oh, but we're poisoned. Great. That's not good. Alright, and Thunderbolt has been diverted. Diverted. Um. So now what can we do? We're poisoned. Alright, so I think we should... Um, I think we should Will-O-Wisp Faramosa. Or actually, we should just Shadow Ball it, get rid of it. And we could just Bone, um... Yeah, we, yeah, we can just Bone Meringue. We'll just Bone Meringue the Faramosa slot. Slot. And... Alright, so he's protecting his Coco. Alright, so that was a pretty good idea, bone meringuing the Faramosa slot, just in case it has a sash. Alright, so we're going to take an Ice Beam. Should be able to take that pretty well. Alright. Alright, so that was actually a really good play there. And see? That way, if Faramosa went down, Tapu Koko would have got that. But since Faramosa still lived with just a little bit of health, it was enough. Alright, so Gyarados is coming out. That's going to be terrifying for our beautiful little Alolan Marowak. So we're going to be intimidated. Alright, so I think we should Will-O-Wisp the Gyarados. Yeah. And then he's probably 
I don't know what he's going to do. We could switch, because I doubt he's going for an electric attack right now. We could switch into our own Gyarados. Yeah, I think that's safe. Switch into our own Gyarados, get the Intimidate. He's not going for a Thunderbolt with Marowak here on the field. I highly doubt that. So we'll bring in our Gyarados, um, get the Intimidate. And that way, if Gyarados goes for a water move on the Marowak slot, it's not going to do too much. Ah, uh, so his Gyarados avoided the attack. It's unfortunate. And then we're going to take some nasty damage. Oh, Crunch, that's going to... Oh, never mind. I thought he was going for the Drift Limb. So actually... I think I could put Marowak in this slot. And on this slot, just go for a Hydro Vortex on the Coco. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to get a Dragon Dance. But I'm going to demolish something. Yep. Goodbye, Coco. This has to get rid of Coco. I'm just going to nuke the Tapu Coco. It's going to go down. Alright. So that is gone. I'm going to go for Crunch. Marowak should be able to handle up. Uh, never mind. Oh, that was a critical hit. Did that matter? I know Alolan Marowak has beautiful defense, but I'm not sure if that mattered or not. Alright, so we'll bring in Tapu Lele right now. Alright, so he's going to send out Muck. Hmm. I think this might be his last two Pokemon, actually. Alright, so I need my Marowak to take care of this muck. And it's good that we have this Psychic Surge up. Alright, so I'm just going to go for the Moon Blast. On Gyarados, I'm going to go for the Waterfall. I'll just hit Ice Fang on Gyarados. Yeah, I think that's a better play, maybe. Double into the Gyarados, because that's really the biggest threat. Well, I mean, Muck's a big threat, but I have Marowak. Marowak's waiting to come in. To take care of that. Alright, so he just ate a berry. Alright, so we're going to double into the Gyarados. We're going to take a crunch and a poison jab. So, unfortunately, I think that might. Yeah, that takes out the Lele. Alright, so. Well, actually, Marowak's gone. What was I thinking? For some reason, I thought Marowak was still there. No, Marowak went down to the crunch. Critical hit crunch. Alright, so. Shadow Ball, Gyarados, and Waterfall, the Muck. That's really all we can do. That's all we can do. We might have a loss here. Yeah, Muck's living that. Muck is too defensive. Yeah, so I think that's the game. Yeah. Oh man. Well, better luck next match. Um. Yeah, next match. Maybe. I don't know. What What did we do wrong there? Um. I don't know. We did something wrong there. I'll have to look back over the battle and see. Because I think we could have 
in theory, got that. Alright, so we'll just continue. Island Kahuna. We'll do that. Alright, so let's see what we've got. Alright, we got a rain team. Interesting. So I'm bringing the usual. Um, Marowak would be good for Tapu Koko, since Tapu Koko is usually what people bring. Uh, I think I probably... I don't know. Muck's really good. Um, I think what I did wrong was bring the Gyarados. Gyarados, that last battle, didn't really do a lot. Um, but I'm going to bring it this time, since he's probably going to have rain. And, you know, I haven't used Hariyama in a while. Should I use Hariyama? I don't know, though, because he's got Buzzwole. Marowak would be good for Buzzwole. And Tapu Koko. But I think, I think I might bring Hariyama for this battle. Yeah, I'm bringing Hariyama. I haven't used Hariyama in a while. Alright, so Pokemon Trainer Jonathan. Let me guess. Well, Pelipper. I was expecting the Gold Duck, actually. But. I mean, that's a thing. Huh. Alright, so. What should I do? Alright, so the Electric Surge. And we have rain on the field. So I think... I think... Let me look at this. Here it is. I need to get rid of Tapu Koko, actually. That's the big threat to my entire team. I'm going to Tailwind, turn one. I'm also going to... What would be better? Psychic? Or Moonblast? I think Moonblast, actually, will be better for this one. Because it might lower the opponent's special attack. And I think that's very important. If we can make this Tapu Koko a little bit less of a threat, well, that's going to be a lot. Alright, so let's get this Moonblast. Moonblast the Tapu Koko. Alright, so we're taking a Thunder. Of course we're taking a Thunder. Thunder has better accuracy in the rain. And it's got a boost... I think it has a boost from the, the electric terrain, too. Alright, so, got his own Tailwind. But Coco is going down the next turn anyway. So, actually, I can bring Hariyama in. Go for Fake Out on Pelipper. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Fake Out the Pelipper. That's actually why I got Fake Out and Bullet Punch on this Hariyama. So that way I can... ...do this if the Psychic Terrain happens to be... ...taken down. Alright, so this will take out... ...Tapu Koko. Oh, that was a critical hit when we, did, when we needed it the least. Alright, so now we got the burn on Hariyama. So Golduck. Golduck has Swift Swim up at. Um What do I want to do? I think Oh my gosh, what do I even do here? I need to switch Hariyama with Gyarados. Because if I don't, Hariyama is probably going to be taken down with a hurricane. And Moonblast. Uh, which one? Pelipper or Golduck? I think I should Moonblast. Actually, I need to Moonblast Golduck. Is that Golduck with Hydro? Oh yeah, Golduck could have the Z, um, the Z Crystal too. 
That's what people usually do with Golduck, right? Run it with Waterium Z Hydro Pump. Yep. Oh, we're going to take something from Gold Duck. I hope we made the right switch. I don't. I mean, we had to switch Harry on out. Yeah, he's going for the Lele. That's what I was thinking he'll do. Go for Tapu Lele. I might take it out. Yep. That's very unfortunate. All right, so we'll take a Hurricane. All right, so we have to bring Hariyama in. I think we lost this one as well. Well, Pelipper Golduck is really good together. I don't think... Uh, what did I do? Do I go for Waterium Z? Actually, I think that might be the best bet since it's raining. I'm just going to hit... I need to hit Pelipper with that. And I'll just fake out. I'll... Yeah, I gotta double into Pelipper. I don't... I'm not... Pelipper is defensive. And so Ice Beam on the Gyarados. Okay, so we're going to take out Pelipper. He still has one more Pokemon that he hasn't revealed. I think this should take Pelipper out, actually. Yeah, so that's enough to take Pelipper out. I had to do that because of Hurricane. It was the safest thing for me to do. Alright, so our Tailwinds have both petered out. Now that's actually the perfect time to get rid of Tailwind. Alright, so Muck is here. Um, I'm not sure what I can do with this now. I can Waterfall the Muck. But his Golduck is fast. Um, just close combat the Golduck. Really all I can do. Right, of course he's going for Protect. Golduck's faster. Um... Ice Beam should take out Gyarados. I'm just going to close combat the Gold Duck. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, it is enough. Okay. So who's faster, Muck or Hariyama? I'm not so sure. Actually, I should have it written down somewhere. Both of these Pokemon are Pokemon that I that I have for the um, Kentucky Typhlosion's PGBL. I have both. All right, so we're faster. I don't know if this will do the trick or not. Oh, so close, so close. Okay. All right, so what are you going for? All right, you got a Figgy Berry. But another close combat will do the trick. We're going to take a Poison Jab. That's not going to poison us since we're already burnt. All right, oh, can we live that? I think we can. All right, so, do you have Shadow Sneak? I'm pretty sure you probably do. So I need to Bullet Punch, but I don't think Bullet Punch takes you out. Our only hope is a close combat. Okay, this is going to take us some thinking. If he has Shadow Sneak, we lose if we hit close combat. We still might lose if we hit bullet punch. If he doesn't have it, we win if we hit close combat. I think he probably, yeah, he probably has shadow sneak. Oh, protect. All right, so he probably doesn't have shadow sneak then, because if he did, he would have went for it there. So I think, oh, never mind. That's what he's doing waiting for me to burn out. Wow. Okay, so... I mean, that was a lot better than the last battle, but we still lost that one. Oh my gosh, that was so close. 
but we burnt out. I think Pelipper and Golduck are a really good combination. That's something I need to look into, maybe, like, if they do this competition in June, look into Golduck, Pelipper. I like that battle, that was pretty good. Alright, so, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I'll see you in the next set of battles.